Welcome. I know folks are slowly being pulled in from the waiting room. So just wanted to do some housekeeping. Um, if this is your first time with us for chair yoga, welcome. So excited to have you with us. If this is your second, third, fourth, so excited that you came back. Um, my name is Dimple Patel and I graduated from Brandeis in 2012 and really, really excited to move and breathe with you. Um, I want to preface that I will give you a set of instructions throughout the sequence and various, various um, options. So definitely feel free to do what feels good in your body. Uh, there's no right or wrong way. There's only for me a safe way of doing things. So listen to your body, listen to your breath and do what feels good in your body. You will have several options throughout the practice. And I just want to, a uh, couple of things that folks have provided me feedback with, so I just want to say it up front. Um, I will be doing the class with you, but because we're mirroring one another, you're going to be, in some ways, you're going to be doing opposite of me in terms of if I'm doing something on my right side, you're going to be doing it on your left side. So just wanted to flag that because that came up last week. Also wanted to flag... Um, if my screen is small, I, I recommend taking a moment just to enlarge it so you can see the whole sequence as, on a larger frame. And yeah, I will get started. So all you need for this class is a chair. I recommend one that has no arms because we are going to use the sides of the chair. So if you have a chair that has arms, I highly encourage you to find one that does it and one that is not does not have wheels if it does have wheels make sure the wheels are locked all right with that we will get started so come and take a seat on your chair your back can be supported for now and let's tune in with our breath so take a moment to feel really grounded on your feet maybe close your eyes or soften your gaze Palms can be on your thighs or your knees, whatever feels comfortable. And begin tapping into your breath here. Let's begin with three cleansing breaths. So we're gonna do three breaths where we inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. So when we're ready, let's inhale together through the nose. Exhale it out through the mouth. Two more deep breaths, just like that. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Last one, deep this inhale yet, breathe in. Exhale through the mouth. Beautiful. And now we're gonna, throughout the practice, breathe in and out through your nose. See if you can tap into what we call our ujjayi breathe, breathing. So you inhale, fill up your belly through your nose. And then exhale, lips are sealed through the nose as well. Relax your forehead, relax your jaw, relax your eyes. Really begin to find more space. I have thinking, I've been thinking a lot about community and about what it means for showing up for myself and those that I love and the communities that I'm a part of, um, particularly with everything that's going on in the world. And I wanted to share a, a quote of, of one of my favorite quotes with you um, as we move and breathe in our practice today by one of my favorite activists, Miss Audre Lorde. And it goes the following. When I dare to be powerful, to use my strength in the service of my vision, 
then it becomes less and less important whether I'm afraid. At this moment, I invite you to set an intention for your practice. To what or to whom are you dedicating the next one hour to? Stay connected to your breath. You can bring your arms, your hands into a prayer above your heart. We will begin with three rounds of OM. Inhale together. OM. vibrations of Om, universal sound that connects us. Exhale everything out. Gently begin to flicker your eyes open, place your palms on your thighs, and let's just begin to warm up little by little. So let's begin to warm up our neck here. So gently look from side to side, over your left shoulder, over your right shoulder. There's absolutely no rush. You can also keep your eyes closed. I know that helps me feel more present, more grounded. And once you're even on both sides, come back to center. And then let's take that movement up and down. So as you inhale, begin to look up towards the sky. As you exhale, come back through center, chin into your chest. Take a moment to breathe right here. Really allow yourself to feel the release of your neck here, your neck, your shoulders. Breathe into any area that may feel a little tight. On the next inhale, lift your gaze all the way to the sky. As you exhale, Come back to the center, chin into your chest. Do this a few more times following your breath. There's no right or wrong pace. It's just whatever feels good to you. As long as you're letting your breath be your guide. Couple of more times, just like this. And we'll meet back in center. Inhale, lengthen your fingertips to the sky, arms frame your face. Lengthen or bring your right fingertips down as if you were almost reaching the ground. Bend your left elbow. And then from here, hold on to your right ear. Give it a gentle tug as you open up the right side of your body. So we're not pulling. We're just giving it a gentle tug and you'll begin to feel the stretch on the right side of your neck. And remember, energize your fingertips as if you were reaching the ground. You'll feel that stretch even deeper. Stay connected to your breath. If you want, you're welcome to even tuck your chin a little for a little bit of a different stretch. Still in the neck, but you'll, you're getting to a different part of your neck here. One more deep inhale wherever you are. As you exhale, release your left arm and then just move your head from left to right. Carry a lot of tension here. So this might be intense for a lot of folks. All right, let's reach our fingertips to the sky. Bring your left fingertips down, bend your right arm and then place it place your right hand over your left ear. And then similarly to what we did last, the other side, just begin to gently give it a tug. You'll feel the stretch already. 
If this is where you want to be, stay here. Or if you want, you can even tuck your chin slightly towards your chest for a little bit of a deeper neck stretch. Energize those left fingertips as if you were trying to touch the ground. We're here for a couple of breaths, just breathe. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, release your right fingertips, place your palms on your thigh and just iron that out by looking over your right shoulder, your left shoulder. Do that twice on both sides until you're even. We'll meet back in center. Beautiful. Now we're just gonna combine all of that by doing a couple of, a few circles with our neck. So we wanna be really, really careful here. We're gonna bring our chin into our chest and then begin to circle your left ear above your left shoulder. Take a moment to breathe into this and then gently begin to roll your head back, opening the throat, bringing it around to the right side so your right ear is over your right shoulder and then back to center, chin into your chest. Let's do this one more time. Can you go even slower than you did the first time? Really take that moment to notice any tightness. Beautiful, chin into your chest. Let's do the opposite circle. So rotate your head the opposite direction, noticing any tightness, maybe giving that area an extra breath on your way back to center chin into your chest and then one more one more time in the same direction always breathing always staying connected to our breath chin into your chest gently lift your gaze back to center and then this time if your back is against your chair we want to scooch a few inches forward because we want some room behind us we're going to begin to open up our chest and um, give our back, our entire back, a little bit of a massage. So place your palms on your knees. We're going to do a few series of cat cow. So as we inhale, we're going to use this contact between our palms and knees to help us open our chest as we look up for cow. And then as we exhale, we're going to pull our belly and dome our back for cat. Few more rounds just like this. Inhale, open that chest, look up. Exhale, pull your belly in, dome your back for cat. Again, go at your own pace as long as you're following your breath. Let your breath guide your movement. Two more rounds, just like this, wherever you are. Once you're done, we'll meet back in center. And then we're gonna do some hip circles. So your palms can be on your hips, on your thighs, whatever feels comfortable. And we're just gonna begin to circle out our hips in one direction, begin to find some relief in our hip joints. Stay connected to that breath. Then once you come back to center, let's change the direction of those hip circles. So go the opposite way. One side might feel differently than the other. That's totally fine. One more circle in this direction. And then let's come back to neutral, seated pose, supasana. Now we're gonna combine those two. We're gonna put, combine the cat cow and the hip circle. So palms can be on your hips or your knees, whatever feels good to you. And we're just gonna, as you inhale, open your chest, lean forward. And then as you exhale, begin to pull your belly and dome your back as you begin to circle back as well. On the inhale, begin to open that chest, shoulder blades roll down. As you exhale, 
dome your back, pull that belly in. Do this a few more times. This is a lot more fluid, so it might feel odd, which is totally fine. We're just trying to create some space in our back and our hips and even in our neck. One more circle this way, come back to center, and then let's change the direction. So as you inhale, open that chest, exhale, rotate the opposite way as you pull your belly and dome your back. Couple or more breaths, just like this. One more circle wherever you are and come back to neutral. Beautiful. So we should begin to feel a little bit of energy, a little bit of heat working through our body. Um, inhale, lengthen your fingertips to the sky. And then exhale, we're gonna come into our first twist. So twist to the right. Your left palm comes on top of your right thigh. As you twist to the right, your right palm can come onto the top of your chair or the bottom of your chair, whatever feels good. So yeah, you might need some space. And if you do, just scoot up a little and then push into your right palm to help you twist a little further. Before you do that, inhale to lengthen that spine. Imagine your top, your spine growing taller. And then as you exhale, use that extra space to twist a little bit more deeply. Gaze can be above your right shoulder or even past it if it's okay for your neck. Just breathe here. One more deep breath. Exhale, come back to center. Beautiful. Let's do the opposite side. Inhale, lengthen your fingertips to the sky. Exhale, twist to the left. Right palm comes onto your left thigh. Left palm comes on, top to the, comes on top of the chair or at the middle of the chair, at the bottom of the chair, whatever feels good to you. And then use the contact with your left palm and the chair as leverage to help you twist even further. Similarly with your right palm and your left thigh. This is meant to be leverage to help you twist maybe even past your left shoulder. As you inhale, really imagine your spine growing taller. As you exhale, find that space to twist a little more deeply. One more breath. Exhale, come back to center. Beautiful. Now let's, let's shake it out a little with some shoulder stretches and continue to open up our heart. So inhale, lengthen your fingertips to the sky. Exhale, palms face out, elbows are bent as you circle your arms back and down. Let's do this two more times. Inhale, fingertips reach the sky. Exhale, palms face out, elbows are bent. Shoulder blades are pulled in closer to one another. Last time, inhale. Exhale down, beautiful. Let's do the same thing, but going in the opposite direction. So let's start with our fingertips uh, facing the ground. And then as we inhale, our palms are gonna face open as we begin to lengthen our arms up and around, fill up your belly. And then as you exhale, arms are parallel to one another, coming down. Two more times, inhale, palms face out. Circle your arms so your arms frame your face. As you exhale, bring your arms in front of you, back down. It last time, inhale, palms face up. Exhale, bring it back down. Beautiful. All right, let's come into our second set of twists. So walk your feet closer to one another, knees touch. We're gonna do side chair. And I'll give you a couple of variations here. So we're gonna inhale, arms frame our face. And then as we exhale, we're gonna hinge from our hips so that our spine remains tall. So literally imagine that you're moving forward from your hips. So our spine is still tall, it's not bent. We're not doming our back here. From here, prayer down the midline. And then 
we're going to twist to the right. So hook your left elbow onto your right thigh. If that's too deep, you're welcome to keep it on your left thigh. But try to see if you can reach for this right thigh and use that as leverage to help you twist to the right. This is option one. Option two, if you want something deeper, you can wing your arms open in opposite directions. So your left fingertips are reaching for the ground, your right fingertips are reaching for the sky. Wherever you are, breathe. Gaze can be straight ahead, or if it's okay for your neck, then you can even look at your right fingertips for a little bit of a deeper stretch. One more breath. Exhale it out. So if you winged out your arms, bring them back to a prayer and then come back to center. And then inhale, lengthen your arms, framing your face. Exhale, prayer down the midline. We're going to do the opposite side. Twist to the left. So hook your right elbow onto your left side. Side twist to the left. This is option one. Breathe here. Option two is extend and wing out your arms in opposite directions. As if your right fingertips were reaching the ground and your left fingertips were reaching the sky. Wherever you are, just do a quick check that one knee is not hiking past the other. If it is, just try to adjust yourself so that they're both right next to one another. One more deep inhale wherever you are. If you extended your arms, bring them back to prayer. And then all me in center. Inhale, lengthen your arms one last time. Exhale, forward fold, let it all go. You can tense up your fingertips like so. Let me scoot back so you can see. Or you can bring your palms onto the ground, whatever feels good. Just take a moment to enjoy this release enjoy this forward fold so shake your head yes shake your head no shake your head maybe and then from here we're just going to slowly roll up vertebrae by vertebrae with your head being the last thing that comes up circle out your shoulders in one direction circle them out in the other Let's do one more final heart opener. So we're going to interlace our fingertips like so behind our back. So bend your elbows, interlace your fingertips, and then slowly begin to extend your arms. And you'll see how that naturally opens your chest and allows you to gaze towards the sky. Walk your feet hip width distance apart, and then hinge again from your hips into a forward fold. So at this point, you're fit is facing the sky, your arms are long, and you're just folding forward, doing the same thing, shaking your head yes, shaking your head no, just breathe. Gently release your fingertips to the ground. And then here, walk your feet closer to one another so that your big toes touch. We'll do a short vinyasa, so as we inhale, Lengthen your spine so that your spine is long. As you exhale, forward fold. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Roll your shoulder blades back and down. Exhale, forward fold. Last time, inhale, lengthen your spine. Your torso is parallel to the, to the ground. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, high prayer. Come up and around, high prayer to the sky. Exhale, prayer to the heart. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're gonna work into our hips a little bit more, into our legs. Um, this is your option. If you want to come all the way back, you're welcome to. I think it's a little bit more comfortable if you have some distance. We're gonna hold our right knee into our chest it's as if we were giving it a tight hug. And again, if this is the most that your knee goes, this is totally fine. If this is where it goes, totally fine. Whatever feels good in your body. And then with this right knee hugged into our chest, we're just gonna draw knee circles. 
So imagine that your right knee is the pencil and you're drawing circles with it. By doing this, we get into our hips. We begin to release any other tension that's there. Continue to create space. Stay connected to your breath. And then change the direction of your circles. So same knee, different circle direction. Again, if you want, you're welcome to close your eyes. Come back to your intention. One more circle. Come back to center. Give that knee a tight squeeze. And then place it down next to your left. Do the opposite side. So hug your left knee into your chest. Give it a tight squeeze. And then with your left or both of your hands, if you want, if you want one hand, just begin to guide that knee into a circle, into knee circles. Notice how this side feels. Maybe this side is a little bit more tight. Just notice, no judgment. Beautiful, one more circle and then let's change the direction of our knee circles. Make sure that you're also standing tall, that we're not hunching over like this as we try to make knee circles, right? We always want to find length and expansion. So really open that chest, keep that spine long as you make these knee circles. One more time. Beautiful. Bring that foot next to your right foot. Hug the right knee back into your chest. This time, interlace your fingertips like so underneath your right thigh. Lengthen your spine, feel that length, and then gently lengthen your right leg straight ahead of you. Your foot doesn't need to be this high. It could totally even rest on the chair if that's more comfortable for you. If the higher you go, the more you engage your core. So that's something to be mindful of. And then from here, let's just circle our ankle in one direction. Circle it out in the other. Making sure to not fold in, to stay tall and open. Beautiful. Hug that right knee in, place that right foot to the ground. Let's do the opposite side. Hug the left knee in to your chest. Interlace your fingertips. Place them underneath your left thigh for extra support. And lengthen your left leg straight ahead. Find that length, find that openness in your chest. Once you've done that, then begin to make ankle circles. In one direction. Circle them in the other. Maybe even wiggle out your toes. Beautiful. Hug that knee in. Place that left foot next to your right. Okay, we're gonna build some heat now. So we're gonna hug our right knee into our chest and then release the left arm by your side. Engage your core, really heat that center up as you let go and lengthen your right arm to the side as well. Are you with me? You can stay right here or if you want, you're welcome to lengthen that right leg straight ahead. Imagine yourself being pulled in three opposite directions. Breathe here, right here for three deep breaths. Flex your right foot so that your toes are facing straight towards the sky. One more deep inhale, you can do it. Exhale, bend the right knee and then bring your arms to give your right knee a tight squeeze. Beautiful. Awesome, you might wanna shake out your legs a little. Let's do the opposite side. So interlace your fingertips behind you. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's hug our left knee into our chest. Um, this time, let's lengthen our right arm to the side. Step two, lengthen the left arm to the side. You're beginning to engage the core here. You're welcome to stay here or 
begin to gently lengthen that left foot straight ahead of you. Flex that left foot so that your, sky, that your toes are facing the sky. You'll find that engagement in your thigh as well. We're right here for a few breaths. Deep breathing. Imagine that you're being pulled in three opposite di directions. Two more deep inhales. Exhale, bend that left knee. Hug that left knee into your chest. Place that left foot down. Beautiful. Let's shake it out one more time. Maybe give our thighs a little bit of a massage by pressing down on them. See if that feels good. Beautiful. Okay, so now I wanna get into some of the warrior poses. Um, in yoga, there's various warrior poses. And I think there's just a fun sequence that, that everyone would enjoy. So I just wanna make sure my screen is okay. All right. So again, we don't want to have a chair that has arms. If you have arms on your chair, it's gonna make this a little challenging. <clears throat> so we're gonna to begin to come into a warrior two. So your feet are in the center and we're gonna come onto our right side. So just bring your right foot as if you were to the right, as if you were creating a 90 degree angle with your feet, right? So your right foot, your right toes are facing straight ahead. And then this is where I, I, I ask that you trust and listen to your body. Begin to gently walk your left foot to the left as far as you feel like is comfortable for you. The goal or ultimately where we're going is to lengthen this left leg all the way long behind us. This is the goal. But again, at any point in this journey is totally fine. <laughs> Alignment is super important. So let's make sure that our right knee is above our right ankle or behind it, not past it, okay? And that your left foot is all, all 10 toes are firmly grounded and that your left toes are facing straight ahead. So any variation of this is totally fine. And this is actually a closed hip pose. So just place your palms on your, on your hips and you'll notice that they're open as if they were facing, facing forward. What we wanna do is want them to be facing the same direction as our toes. So even I need to do this where I hold on to my hips and physically rotate them to the right. You'll see how that activates my left um, calf even more. So we're physically rotating so that our hips are actually facing the same direction as our right toes, okay? We're gonna extend our arms in opposite direction, bring a warrior two pose, Vira Bradashana two. Soft gaze over your right fingertips and we're breathing. This is a very active pose, it's not an easy pose. So any variation of this will do. Soft gaze over your right fingertips. You can even close your eyes here. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna slip our palms and then inhale, come into a high prayer. Exhale, bring them back, warrior two. Inhale, flying warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Do this a couple of more times following your breath. Let your breath be your guide. You determine your pace. You can go quicker or slower as long as you're following your breath. Two more times wherever you are. Inhale, exhale. Beautiful, we'll meet back in warrior two. Awesome. I don't know about you, but my arms are definitely getting tired. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna inhale, really lengthen your fingertips to the sky, and then exhale, release. Whew. You might wanna shake out your arms, and then gently begin to bend the left knee and walk that left foot back to center. Both feet will come 
to touch. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So bring your left foot to the left side of your chair, left toes are facing straight ahead. We have, we're starting with a 90 degree angle here. Then you're gonna begin to walk your right foot to the right, slowly extending. There's absolutely no rush. And it, and it helps if like most of your thighs actually on the chair, right? So you feel fully supported. Slowly begin to walk your right leg behind you until it's fully lengthened. If this, if this feels okay in your body, if not, totally keep this knee bent. All right, let's find our alignment. So left knee is above your left ankle and then let's shift our hips so that they face towards our left foot and our left toes. Palms come onto your hips and then slowly begin to rotate them towards the left. They may not come all the way, that's totally fine. I just wanna create that level of awareness, right? That this is what, what we're working towards. All right, once we're here, we're gonna extend our arms in opposite direction, coming into warrior two. Soft gaze is over your left fingertips and we're breathing. Make sure that you're not like hiking up your shoulders, right? We did so much releasing. So make sure that you're, you're giving your neck and shoulders some space. Breathe here. Beautiful. We'll do that flying warrior set. Flip your palms open, palms touch in a high prayer for flying warrior. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, flying warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Do this a few more times following your breath, going at your pace. And even though your feet are supported, know that you're still being pulled in four different directions here. Two more times, just like this, wherever you are. We'll meet back in warrior two. Beautiful, let's do a final stretch, really lengthen your fingertips in opposite directions. Stretch it out, energetically pull yourself in opposite directions. Exhale, release. Begin to gently bend this right knee, walk the right knee back to center. We'll come back, seated Sukhasana, beautiful. You might wanna give your thighs a little bit of a pressure and we're gonna add on to that. <clears throat> So we're come back to our right side. So from here, place your right foot towards the right. They're facing straight ahead. And then again, with whatever level of comfort you're feeling, begin to walk your left foot to the back, coming into our warrior two. So we've been here before. We've laid our foundation. This time we're gonna inhale to extend and lengthen. And then as we exhale, we're gonna come into peaceful warrior. So what that means is left palm comes back behind the left thigh. You open your right arm up and over, opening all of your right side. Breathe here. One more deep inhale. Then as you exhale, we're gonna come back to warrior two and extended side angle. So right palm, right forearm comes onto your right thigh as you open the left side. So then left forearm comes on up and over you. This is option one. If you want something deeper, imagine yourself using your right forearm and right thigh as leverage to help you open your chest further to the sky. Breathe here, gaze can be straight ahead or underneath your left forearm. One more breath. 
exhale, come back to center, warrior two. Beautiful. Relax your arms for a moment if you'd like, shake them out. And we're gonna do that sequence twice more, a little quicker following our breath. So let's begin. Lengthen your arms, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Right forearm, right thigh, left arm comes up and over. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, release. Beautiful. Let's do that one more time and then we're done on this side. Extend your fingertips, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, right forearm to right thigh, left arm comes up and over. Inhale, peace. In inhale, warrior two. Exhale, release. Beautiful. Let's bend that left knee, come back to center, shake out our legs, shake out our arms. Let's do the left side. I'll move this way a little. Okay. So for the left side, we're going to take the left foot towards the left. We have this 90 degree angle. This is where we're starting. Again, make sure that most of your thigh is supported by the chair, right? And then when you're ready, slowly begin to open up your right thigh by walking your right foot behind you as far as it goes. Wing your arms in opposite direction for warrior two. Tap into your breath here. Okay. We're going to reach up and back to, to peaceful warrior. So right palm reaches back behind your right leg as your left arm comes up and over the left side. We're opening up the left side here for peaceful warrior. Two deep breaths here. Come back through warrior two and then extended side angle. Bend your left arm, left forearm on your left thigh as your right arm comes up and over. You'll begin to feel this deep stretch all the way from your right hip all the way to your right fingertips here. Breathe here. And again, if you want something deeper, use the contact between your left forearm and your left thigh. Push into it so that you can open your chest even further. It's as if you want your chest to face the sky. One more deep breath. Exhale, come back through warrior two, then let it go. Beautiful. So that was the foundation for this side. We're gonna do it two more times, a little quicker. All right, find your warrior two, wing your arms in opposite direction. Ready, inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, left forearm to left thigh, wing your right arm up and over. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, release. Beautiful. Last time. <laughs> Lengthen your arms, opposite direction, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior, open the left side. Exhale, extended side angle, left forearm to left thigh, right arm comes up and around the right thigh. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, release. Awesome. Bend that right knee. Gently begin to walk it back to center. We're going to meet back in seated Sukhasana. Awesome. Let's shake out our legs, shake out our arms. So our hips are really open now. <laughs> um, and we want to tap into that for some balancing. So you have two options. You can use the chair as support. Um, if you want something a little bit more challenging, you don't need to use a chair. So we're going to stand for this pose. Um, if you're using the chair, then you are welcome to bring it a few inches in front of you. We're going to come into Rikshasana, which is tree pose. So you can, the chair can be like actually to your side. All you really need is the top of the chair for support. So I'll give folks a moment to find their grounding. And actually, while we're here, let's take a moment to connect. So let's come into 
Tadasana, a mountain pose, which is really where all 10 toes are grounded, palms are open, close your eyes, and take a moment to connect with your breath here. Feel yourself strong and steady like a mountain in this mountain pose, Tadasana. Beautiful. Gently open your eyes and we'll transition to Vrikshasana, tree pose. So place your right palm on your right, uh, on top of your chair and we'll get into tree pose. So three options. Option one, left foot comes above or on top of your right ankle. Stay right here. Option two, lift that left foot and place it underneath your right knee. Option three, is to lift that left foot and place it above your right knee. To do what feels good, try out what makes sense for you right now. And then if you want, you can even let go of your right palm and bring your hands into prayer. See, play around with that balance, see how you feel. What helps is if you find a drishti, which is a focal point something that's not moving and you look at that. Just gaze into your focal point. This will help you minimize the distractions and keep your balance. If you want even a little bit more of a challenge, you're welcome to grow branches for your tree by extending your arms to the sky. Breathe wherever you are. If you extended your arms, bring them back down through prayer, down through your center, Lift your left knee, keep finding that balance. This begins to engage some core and then place that left foot next to your right. Beautiful. Shake it out a little to the opposite side. So for the opposite side, you, you wanna stand on the opposite side of the chair. So the left side is more readily accessible as we put our balance onto the left foot this time. So option one, Place your left palm on top of the chair. Place your right foot on top of your left ankle. Option one, you can place your hand on your hip. Option two, place your right foot underneath your left knee. Option three, you can lift the right foot and place it inside your left thigh above your right knee. We just don't want anything on our knee. These are your options. And again, if you want something a little bit more challenging, you're welcome to bring your hands to a prayer and breathe, find your drishti, find your focal point. And then if you want a tiny bit more of a challenge, you can grow branches for your tree by extending your arms to the sky and breathing. One more breath wherever you are. If you extended your arms, bring them down, prayer down through the midline, and then lift your right knee into your chest. Flex your right foot. We're just playing with balance here so you can always hold on to a chair. One more breath. Exhale, place the right foot next to the left. Shake it out. <laughs> And let's come and meet on our chair. We'll begin to cool down our bodies here. <laughs> okay. So uh, make sure you have some space behind from your chair. We're gonna hug our right knee into our chest and then place the right shin above the left thigh. We've done this before, so we're coming into a figure four shape because, and it's called that because we're literally making a figure four. Again, if this is where your knee is, that's totally fine. It just means you have tight hamstrings. Eventually, it will come down to this. Either way, you should definitely feel a stretch on your, on your right side, in your right thigh, and from coming out from your right hip. Flex your right toe. Palms are on your thighs or on your hips, whatever feels good to you. And just breathe here. If you want something a little bit more deep, then you can gently 
push down your right thigh, you'll see how that intensifies the stretch. Or you can, from your hips, we're gonna hinge from our hips a couple of inches, not too far, because remember we want our spine to remain tall. And you'll see how that also deepens the stretch by a lot. Wherever you are, just breathe. One more deep inhale, wherever you are. As you exhale, come back to center. Hug the right knee in, place the foot to the ground, to the opposite side. Hug the left knee in, place the left shin above your right thigh. Again, flex your left toes, right? And well, I, I know that this side is way tighter for me. I definitely feel the difference. Notice how you feel. Stay here, palms are on your thighs or your hips. Or if you want a little bit of a deeper stretch, take your left palm and gently push your left thigh away. See how that feels. Option three is to hinge from your hips just a couple of inches, maintaining the length in your spine. So your spine is tall, it's not doming, it's a tall spine. And breathe here. Wherever you are, just enjoy the stretch. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, come back to center. Hug that left knee into your chest. Place that left foot down. Beautiful. You might want to shake out your feet. Give your thighs a little bit of some, a little bit of pressure. And then before we close, I also wanted to provide a nice wrist stretch that I think, you know, you might like. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna turn this way so you can see me, but you can stay seated where you are. It's basically doing a prayer behind your back. So see how that feels. This can be a little bit of an intense stretch. Um, it definitely is for the wrist. This is a really nice stretch for the wrist. Um, and you can even play around with pushing the left fingertips with your right, pushing the right fingertips with your left, and you'll see how that stretches out your wrist. So just something simple that you can do anywhere you are. Um, and if this is too intense, you're of course welcome to hold on to opposite elbows like so. This, is, this goes more into your shoulder blades, but that's totally fine. If you do that, just make sure you change the cross of your elbows. We always want to be balanced on both sides. Just wanted to offer a quick, <laughs> quick exercise you could do literally wherever you are. So we're going to come back to a seated position. This time, if you want, you can even sit back all the way to the back of your chair. All 10 toes are grounded, palms are on our thighs. And just close your eyes or soften your gaze. Allow yourself to enjoy this moment of stillness. Allow yourself to be in Shavasana, which is our final resting pose, so that you can reap the benefits of your practice. We are going to close with one round of Om. Bring your hands to a prayer in front of your heart. I'm gonna inhale together.
the inner light in me honors the inner light in you. Thank you. I will stay on for questions if folks have, um, but as always, such a pleasure to move and breathe with you all. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the sessions. If folks have questions, um, definitely let me know. Um, and yeah, if you're interested in practicing yoga with me, you can definitely reach out to me through my website, through my email, 